What's good, everybody? It's the one and only Punish 90 Gaming. Come back to you some more Call of Duty Warzone. And this is a new game mode for, I think, Warzone? I'm not sure how long it's gonna last, but it's called Kingslayer. And essentially, what you have to do is it, there's always a moving gas. So you pretty much have to fight within. You can fight outside the circle, but probably like two or so minutes, and then the circle will move. And then you like. It's always moving, but the fun part is like it's kind of like Warzone, but not really. Cause like essentially you constantly get streaks. I know, right? That's fucking crazy. But the amazing part is like you get streaks out of the care package, like your little crates around the map, and like you also can pretty much stack up kills like really easy depending on the the hot spots. Well, it makes this more interesting because, like, you don't really have to worry about campers too much. Because everybody's pretty much moving for the most part. Yeah, but more, more than likely they're gonna go hide on the roof or something, but. Hey. <laughs> this is the most exciting, uh, Warzone game mode we had so far, so. I say it's worth it. I was just like. This is actually my second gameplay because I accidentally raced the first one. I got like 10 kills on that one, but yeah, I believe this dude. I don't like listening to you. Are you sure what fuck language that is? Anyways, um, I got 20 kills. Um, well, damn near 20. I got 19 actually, but that's mainly what I was going for. Like, right? just trying to get you know, trying to get used to like how the map plays and shit. Inside of this, <laughs> inside of this game mode, but as you can see, they cut off course. Um, I should say, cut off majority of the map, and just give us this. I thought I was gonna die by the fucking plane. That should have been funny as fuck, but I didn't. As I was trying to like, you know, get my bearings, you die really quickly. Trust me. Like. It's crazy because like you die quickly, but you come back almost as soon as you die. And I, what I love about it is like, like there's no uh, situation where your teammates have to bring you back. You just pretty much just show back up like a uh, plunder. But this is more. Look at these fucking nerds, man! I swear I can't stand these fucking. Anyways, like. This is far more action based than Plunder is. No, no disrespect to Plunder, I love playing that, but this is definitely going to be something worth streaming, in my opinion. But we'll see exactly when I decide to do that. I'm not sure why this dude was just standing, but fuck out. But it's just crazy because, like, the streets are always flying. Never know where I do is gonna be camping at. Uh, uh, stupid ass gun situations where I'm clearly shooting the dude and he barely landed and I still get killed. Off sh shoot shit like that. Still annoying me. Uh, well, that's just war zone it's, itself to have crappy ass hit detection. But since this is a new game mode, I might as well. Like, what the fuck? Like, seriously, were you just sitting there waiting for me to land? Like, yeah, of course, there's still gonna be some nerds. Kind like, like, they like the pins on every fucking match. But, I'm just trying to take this shit for what it is, because who knows when the hell IW is gonna take it out. Because you know, as soon as we get a good game mode, they wanna take shit out and give us some stupid so. Look at this fucking rose scan. Yeah, good body ho. Sick of you clowns running around in that fucking scan. Doing all this sweaty shit for no reason. But I love this fucking game mode. For what it is, I'm taking it. Life still sucks though, because it's fake. You never truly know where the hell a person is. So, that's after a year, they still haven't fixed the fucking menu now. Hey, do they 
even think about these types of things before, like, and as you see, I got sucked there because I'm thinking this damn door is gonna open. Joseph and his brilliant idea of adding doors to the fucking game. Like, normally you just bump into the door and it opens, but that door didn't want to open, regardless of what I did. I was pushing square, didn't want to open. I bumped, ran right into it, still didn't open. I'm like, that's the first time I ever had a door malfunction on me like that. So, take it for what you will. I'm pretty sure that I was designed to die there. I don't care though, because I kept moving. In front of UAV. See, this is where the map um, deceives me again. Like, is he up here? Let's see. Oh, nope. He's in the fucking tower. And then I get killed by somebody. Uh, first, I get this guy. Then I get killed by somebody. It's like, I see that in this one, you gotta keep moving or getting some type of cover because like, it's so easy to die by somebody you've never even seen, just like in Warzone, but more so, okay, I didn't die here. My bad. I know I die somewhere soon. Like, in this area. Yeah, yeah, I die over this way. See, I like that that the uh, the gas um, keeps people from like just sitting back in the map and just camping there. It actually forces you to move closer and closer to pe other people. So you already know those little fucking stim glitch assholes. But yeah, once in a while I actually push up with my teammates. But so if you got this far into the video, salute to you, and please let me know why the- well actually let me know this too, why the hell does it take so long to play this down a claymore? Like why didn't they speed up the animations for that? Or give us a perk that speeds up the animations? Like that shit is ridiculously slow. As you see I was tr like trying to set it down there, get him blown up and then take him out, but unfortunately I couldn't do both. But I did fuck some people up with the birthday though. That was pretty funny. So yeah, I'm definitely excited about this new game mode and like let me know your thoughts of like have you played it yet? If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and um be sure to hit the subscribe button because I am on the road to 1k subscribers. Thank you everybody for helping me get to 200. Get fucked. BAM! Crunch. <laughs> Never fuck with my big bird did. I'll intentionally come run you over. What? No, oh, no, this is like helpful to give uh, people a break from the sweat zone that is like the regular solos. Yeah, I seen this dude over there. I was doing my best to get over there and try to run him over. Let's see if I do. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. Like, then I got stuck here. A big oof. Good thing nobody was, like, really trying to come after me. My ass had been dead already. I was trying to run over some more people over here. But. Hmm, let's see if I can get this guy. See, I didn't see him originally. I didn't see him. So I, I foolishly got back in the car. Got this fucking reactive combo. Uh, whatever that gun is. Like, if I knew his ass was on the hill shooting at me, I would have never went back to the car. I would have just took him out, but he's like the fucking rose skin blending in. So, obviously. He does shit like that intentionally. 
I was trying to follow this one dude to, to knock off um, Deadpool skin, but I, I lost him. Cause he went somewhere in there. I was like, nah. Could just be sitting out there waiting for somebody to come in. So yeah, I wasn't paying attention to the zombie car and shit. I did notice that the, the zombies moved over to the prison. I'm like, what the fuck? Why can't they just like stay in shipwrecks and move over to the prison as well? Not just like do it separately. That's kind of stupid. Yeah, I shit on this guy. Yeah, like, look at these clowns, like, fucking duck walking trying to shoot at you. Like, dude, I can still see you. I didn't see this guy, though. I heard him, but I couldn't react fast enough to get him, get out the way of it. But 19 kills at the end of this. Oh, shit. That's pretty damn good now. I'm gonna see if I can drop a 30 bomb in this shit. Before the game, like, you know, this, this whole little shit is over. Yeah, at first I was a little lost. Like, where the hell did this dude go? Then I saw that he dropped down f even further. Yeah, I seen some people over here shooting. So I was like, mm, let me go cherry pick. Got that guy, then I got cleaned up by some bitch in the bushes. It's to be expected. I really wasn't paying attention to the objective. Oh, basically, the objective is to hold on to the flag as long as possible and defend it and kill off anybody that comes your way. But I'm like, man, fuck all that. I'm trying to find as many people to kill as I can. Because it's more fast paced and uh, fun than multiplayer is. Because all dudes want to do in multiplayer is camp and listen for footsteps and shit. I heard that shit. That gave him away. And then somebody thought the bright idea to land on me. Ah, oh, he's over here, huh? Okay. I'll take those dudes out over there. Somebody tried to come up this ladder. Yeah. Don't don't pay attention to that. I know my aim is a little bad, a little bad. Damn, that was a good snipe. Let me go high. But yeah, this game game mode I can see not lasting too long because it's too much fun, and it's like I don't know what is with IW and just like taking away the best game modes. <laughs> that was some James Bond shit right there. Like, I don't know what happened there. Cause like, I'm already shooting this dude as he's landing. So, go figure. I get cleaned up as soon as I kill somebody. Whatever. It's, it's all good, cause... I'd rather play this game mode to any multiplayer right now. It's like, look at that. Look how easy it is to get a kill. And then like, just dip out the area. Like, you can't get that in no fucking multiplayer right now. Because you should constantly be running around do dudes jumping three to four times and doing some goofy shit. But anyways, this is the one and only The Punish Night Gaming. Sign out. Have a good one. Yeah, that was interesting. Good game, everybody. Good game. Good game, yeah. This time we made it all the way through without a fucking lagging it out.